Okay, Monty. Where did uh, Richard suggest next? Where? Thetford. Thetford. That's right. <laughs> so let's go to Thetford then. Episode five. Thetford, as suggested by Richard Earth. Welcome to Thetford, a small town in Norfolk and the ancient capital of East Anglia. Well, the town's not far away, so uh, on Muriel, and we'll get off and have a look over the Nuns Bridge, or one of the Nuns Bridges, because uh, there's three of them all together, and this one's being repaired. They're doing work on the parapet wall, and this chap in this van certainly didn't leave me very much room to get through. Oh, through at last, so let's get going. Um, the river to the left is the Little Ouse River, and the other river, which we'll cross later on, is the River Thet. There's lots to see here. Oh, look at those swan and uh, five, five signets, well grown. Well, this walk alongside the river, a Little Ouse um, is called the Spring Walk. And it's very, very pleasant and with lamp posts all along it, very really nice. And over the other side there is the River Thet. You can see a little bit of a waterfall there from a mill. And now we're crossing the River Thet and we're almost into the town. As with uh, many towns in England, if the name ends in Ford, it means it was a convenient place to cross the river. In this case, the River Thet and the river Little Ouse. This is known as Riverside Walk and the river is now the Little Ouse. So the Thet joined us a little further back. And the bridge you see in front of you was built in 1929. It is now the Class 2 uh, listed building known as Town Bridge. Well, we'll take a ride up into the town now. And there's been a settlement at Thetford since the Iron Age. The town was badly hit by the dissolution of the monasteries, including the castle's destruction, but that was rebuilt in 1574 when Elizabeth I established a town charter. After World War II, Thetford became an overspill town, taking people from London, as a result of which the population increased substantially. Thetford was the home to the red-headed warrior Queen Boudicca, or correctly pronounced Boudicca, Boudicca, uh, and is where she designed her battle plan to overthrow the Roman Empire, killing 70,000 in the process. What a woman! In the 1980s, Thetford became the manufacturing centre for Charles Burrell's steam traction engines, which were widely regarded as the Rolls Royce of the steam industry. The works attracted engineers from London, the Midlands and Yorkshire until it closed in 19, uh, 1928. Well this is the main shopping area and the, there's a good, a good variety of shops here and the population of the town is now about 23,500. We'll make our way now to the square. Just off the square there's a second church with a typical Norman tower and the Red Lion pub dominates the corner and there is an open air market here today selling mainly clothes but there are one or two other things as well so it was worth a little ride round well I was headed off to see what this impressive building was and I noticed this I've heard of baby changing places you know where you can exchange one for another one but a baby maternity Retailer? I didn't think you could bet like that. Anyway, back to the, the impressive building in the corner of the square. It is actually the Guild Hall, or in other words, the Town Hall. And this particular building was completed in 1901, after the previous building had trouble with its foundations. But now I needed refueling, so I went into the Red Lion, got myself half a pint, and studied the map where I was going to go next and since I'm in dire need of a haircut it was to the barbers well Max has booked me an appointment for half past four uh, and uh, 
you gotta trim my beard and give me a trim. So I had to come back then. I won't go into the reasons why, but this is the other Max. <laughs> and I'm having my hair cut and the beard trim. And so far, he's making a reasonable job of it. So he likes hair. <laughs> now, what a lot of people might not know, I certainly didn't, that the Much of Dad's Army television series was filmed in Thetford. And there's a big museum there. Unfortunately, it doesn't open until Saturday. And around the town, there are several murals depicting scenes from it. But now I want to go and find what's left of this castle. And it's just a mound, I believe. And it's a bit like Benidorm. There's so many with mobility scooters about. This chap pulled up, asked me what I was looking for, and gave me directions on how to find the place. And after a lengthy discussion on the merits of various uh, mobility scooters, uh, and he recognised my make, and he said he'd been looking at one to put in his car. Um, I followed him up the road a little while, turned off into the woods, and through the woods until I found what was left of the castle. Just a mound. Admittedly, a big mound. And the castle used to stand on top of that. Now I'm headed back towards Gwendolyn, where she's parked up for the night. In a very, very nice spot again. And once again, uh, all through Park for Night. That's to, uh, that website has certainly helped me a lot. This is where Gwendolyn's parked up. Back onto the little river. The river Little Ooze. And that's the view I have to wake up to tomorrow morning. Very nice indeed. And it's right next to the Nuns Bridge, which is under repair. As I said, there are three of them. There's the one. There's the second one. And there's the third one. I came across two stories associated with these bridges. One of the bridges used to be the site of the ducking stool in the Middle Ages, where witches were ducked underwater. And if they survived, it proved that they were a witch, so they were burnt at the stake. If they drowned, then they obviously weren't a witch. <laughs> Pretty fair, isn't it? Anyway, the other story was about a young boy who was, had been riding his rocking horse, and the head fell off the rocking horse. He fell off the horse, the horse fell on top of him, and he died. And the story is that up until fairly recently, you could occasionally see the ghost of the little boy riding his horse across the bridges on a rocking horse without a head. So, that was my little look at Thetford. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And... Uh, Thanks very much indeed for watching. Goodbye.